What's up, everybody? This is your boy Fred Hammond. And you're watching Things with Chris. Now, my main, my question that I have is, um, I, I heard you mention earlier that you was in the car and you had mm -hmm. the tape recorder and you was going through something. You started to sing. Do a lot of your music come like that? Just you know, you're in the car, you're at the grocery store, in your room. You know, where are you? See when this you right these here. Revelations. These right here. This is my trusty iPhone. <laughs> And on here I have an app. You see that microphone? I don't know if you can see it. Here, let me see what I got on here. I mean, this little idea, this little thing that go on. What is that? Turn the speaker on. See, this is how you roll. <laughs> what you got? What y'all doing? Okay, that's the end of that. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's just me just singing right there, so it don't sound that sweet. Ain't no reverberation on it and nothing. No, no, uh, you know, it ain't no, what they call it, what's that? No, ain't no, uh, but, but there ain't no T-Pain on this one. <laughs> you, know, wow. you know, they got an application for T-Pain on this thing. No, they don't. You can T-Pain my iPhone. That's something. That's a but back to this, but that's how, I make, that's how I make my song. Okay, man. As they come, I start to sing, you know, and I just sing into it, and I just sing. Do they come complete? Or no, they come, they come in, in like, parts. In parts? They come in parts. And you know, just melodies, and sometimes they're just melodies. Really? You know? Now, I have another question, sir. Shoot. Now, for those out there, the young people, I know Fred Hammond has like created so many songs and each one of his songs is like the bomb. But for me, I want to know which song is your favorite that you have written. That's like, which was your favorite kid? Oh, you yeah, have kids, you, can't really, ask you can't really say that. Everyone is different. They all do different things. I can tell you the ones I like. I can tell you, I mean, I, the ones that I probably listen to most or sing most and that Clean Heart is one of them. Mm -hmm. And that's one of my favorites. Draw Nye is one of them. You know, um, I'm one that's on this new CD is uh, Lost in You Again. Mm -hmm. You know, it just finds a place where you go so long down the road and you look up and you just, you're not in the place you used to be. And it's not necessarily that you're out there going crazy. It's just you're thinking about things. You know, you've, you've asked God for so many, you know, to show itself. And, and all of a sudden, things didn't work out the way you thought they should. And maybe you just give God a pass and say, Okay, that's cool. I mean, that's cool. That's good. You, you don't have to do it, and that's okay. I'm cool. I still, you, I still think you're good. You're cool. But inside, there's something going on with that mentality. You know, and even though you give him a pass, you really don't give him a pass. And sometimes you say, well, I don't want to give you a pass. Maybe I asked for the wrong thing. Or what, what did I do? Or just, but I'm not. I'm disappointed, and maybe I don't look at life the same no more. And that song right there is one of the songs that, you know, it's one of my favorite songs on this on this CD. And it probably won't be a real popular song because it's my personal prayer, yeah. you know. But it's just one of them songs that just says, man, after all these years of living, God is still good. And I want my desire is to chase after him still that way, you know. Amen. I have one last question to you, sir. True. Um, you mentioned Michael Jackson. Who are some people that really influence you in your music and the way that you write? I can tell that you're, you, you know, you're bridging the old and the new. So who are your influences that help bridge that gap between both? One thing, my mom, she was, um, she was not very, very a stick in the mud type of person. She let me listen to different genres of music, be it classical, be it jazz, be it rock, be it this. You know, because back when I was coming up, it wasn't like this. It wasn't so lustful. The music wasn't so lustful. You know, it's like they had songs, You make me feel so bad. You know, you could have been a candle. The real simple songs. Nowadays, you got this stanky leg. I don't like my leg to stay. And I don't like to practice nothing. A grown man got to go home and practice something. He got to, I'm good, you know. Yeah. Uh, and then you got all these different songs, and, and they're just a lot more damaging to what we listen to take in. So my mom let me listen to different songs so that my library would be different. Mm -hmm. And you know what? She trusted that. And God allowed me to take different things from Stevie Wonder and Donny Hathaway, Phil Collins, and uh, Lou Rawls, and, 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 and country music, and, and Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson was a big influence on me. It was a very big influence on me. Not that I wanted to dance like him or this, but when I first got his first record, uh, it was I want you back and I just would look at them and I would pretend like I was one of them guys and I grew up with that guy and I watched his creativity and I took the DNA of his creativity and I said if, if you can do that I can do that for God mm. I'll take this because he's the best at what you do I want to take the best
best from the best. And I want to give it to God. And I want to add my best to it. So a lot of times people are like teachers and professors. Like this is how you should do it. And if you do that. And you're not serving, you know, you're not saying this about God. You're just, you're doing the best you can to entertain people. Why don't I do that and give it to God? And those are, and so the Winans, um, all those people I named, Stevie Wonder has a big influence on me. Um, you know, I would listen to people like Jimi Hendrix, and I listened to their crowd. These were the best at what they did. I didn't have to do drugs like Jimi, mm -hmm. but I could take the best at what he, he, cre he invented something that nobody else invented, distortion guitar. Nobody was playing that at that time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would take the best from that and I could look at, you know, Maddie Moss Clark or I could look at the Winans or the Clark sisters, James Cleveland. I could look at that's down the road, Frank Sinatra, you know, Burt Bacharach and Dion Warwick. And I had this, I got this hard drive inside of me that's full of music. It's like iTunes of my whole existence. And I could pull and say, this needs to sound like that. This needs to sound like that. This needs to be soft like that. This needs to be hard like that. That's so, awesome. So we thank you, sir, just for even for what you shared today. Um, we really try to um, encourage young people to really live for God, even through their music. And like you mentioned, you know these new songs, "Thank You Leg" and all this stuff. The 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 message behind it is not beneficial for us. Right. And so for you, we really appreciate you and your music and what you're doing. Because I'm encouraged, you know, I'm listening to your, your music in my car and I'm struggling. I'm like, Lord, thank you, you know. And I'm not just thanking, but I'm thanking God for you and your ministry. And so we thank you for that, sir. And we appreciate it. Good. We're here again with Team for Christ. I'm your host, Tori Clark. Right now we have a very famous uh, gentleman by the name of, can we get your name, please, sir? David Reed. David Reed. Now, David Reed is very famous for um, music. And we want to know, what is the name of your music company? Well, actually, I, my parents started Reed's Records back in 1945. Next year will be our 65th anniversary. So Reed's Records has been going on for a long time. This is a second generation. Uh, my great uncle actually was the first religious DJ west of the Mississippi. Wow. He was a predecessor of Al Moreland and, you know, all the present-day Emmett Powell and everybody that's come afterwards. So, you know, the Reed's family has been working in gospel music for a long time. And you truly enjoy it? Oh yeah, oh yes, it's our, our ministry. We right now we specialize just in gospel music. Uh, that's all we do. We carry choir robes, pulpit robes, communion supplies, Sunday school material. So we're a one-stop experience for the African American church. Are you? Where are you based at? We're located in Berkeley, California. Berkeley, California. So you you supply needs for the Bay Area or beyond the Bay Area? Well, actually, Greater Northern California. We also do some promoting too. This uh, next year, we're going to be bringing in Lee Williams and the Spiritual QCs for our 65th anniversary California Northern California anniversary tour. We're going to have a six stop cities. We're doing Fresno, San Francisco. We're going to be doing Sacramento, Stockton, Oakland, and also here in Modesto. Wow, that is a great opportunity, and we are thankful for this interview with you, and we just pray that God will continue to bless you with your endeavors and that you will continue to bless the people of God. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're watching Teens for Christ. Not the devil on his nose. We don't do it like you do. We follow the Holy Ghost. Christ flow, body blow. Not the devil on his nose. We don't do it like you do.